In February of 2017, ANSI introduced the new Z359.16 standard for climbing ladder fall arrest systems. Whether you manufacture, distribute, purchase, design, install, or use these systems, here's what you need to know. First, this standard applies to any vertical climbing system that's 90 degrees, plus or minus one degree, when viewed from the front elevation and within 15 degrees of vertical from the side elevation. A competent person, as defined by OSHA, must determine the appropriate full body harness for use conforming to ANSI ASSE Z359.11 and manufacturer's instructions. Carrier sleeves must now include an anti-inversion device to prevent the user from inadvertently installing the carrier sleeves upside down, a key change from previous requirements. They must also be supplied with a linkage to the harness, which can't exceed 12 inches. Each system must support between two and four climbers at the same time. During climbing and descent, sleeve movement should be automatic, not requiring continuous manual intervention. Sleeves must lock automatically in a fall, and must also include a second independent locking mechanism that can't be disengaged or interfered with during a fall, another key change intended to enhance safety. The average arrest force should not exceed 1,350 pounds, and the maximum arrest force should not exceed 1,800 pounds. The maximum movement of the sleeve when locking onto the carrier cable in a fall event cannot exceed 20 inches. Sleeves designed to be removable from the carrier cable must require at least two deliberate manual actions by the user. These changes will be effective as of August 2017, so if you have any questions about complying with this new standard, or have interest in a tower climbing training course, contact your 3M Fall Protection Representative or Technical Specialist today.